I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to discuss a very important application. We will see how to maximize area of a trapezoid and specifically we can take an isosceles trapezoid. Right? So we will take an isosceles trapezoid. So normally in your questions you will always find isosceles trapezoid. It really means that in an isosceles trapezoid the three sides are of equal length. right? So let me sketch one to explain you what it really means. The shape is kind of like this. We have these three sides and the base is actually parallel to the opposite side. So these two sides are parallel and when we say it's an isosceles trapezoid then we are considering these sides of equal length. right? So that is how our isosceles trapezoid will look like. So in this particular case, if I draw perpendicular from here and if I assume this angle to be alpha, in that case we'll find an expression and then derive the value of alpha which will maximize the area of trapezoid. So that is the question before us. So we know this particular dimension could be written as, as let us say B first and then we'll find what is B. Now, in this particular triangle, you can see if angle is alpha, hypotenuse is A. In that case, height is how much? The height of this trapezoid could be written as A sine alpha, right? Height is A sine alpha. And this portion, let me say the trapezoid is A, B, C, D, E and F. In that case, AE will be equals to FD and each will be equals to A cosine of alpha, right? A cos of alpha. That makes B as equal to uh, A plus. So this side, because these sides are parallel and these are perpendicular, side B could be written as equals to A plus 2 times A cos alpha. Right. So these are the parameters for our trapezoid. It's very important to understand it since there could be many related questions based on this concept itself. Now we need to maximize area. What is area of a trapezoid? Area of a trapezoid is half of sum of opposite parallel sides that is A plus B times height. That is the area, right? In our case, we have written all these terms in terms of angle alpha, right? A is given to us and only variable is alpha. So we'll write area as a functional alpha as half of A plus B. B is sum of these two with A, which we've already written here. We write this as A plus 2A cos alpha. and height is A sin alpha. Right. So we get the function area of the trapezoid as a function of angle alpha as half of all this. Now this is A plus A is 2A and this is also 2A, right? So we can factor out 2A. So we can say 2A divided by 2 times, so we have 1 plus cos alpha times A sin alpha. Now 2 and 2 cancel. So we have A square. Now we can open this bracket up. right? So we get A square outside and inside we can write sin alpha plus sin alpha cos alpha. Right. So that becomes an expression for the area as a function of alpha. Now we can find the derivative of this particular function. So the derivative of area with respect to angle alpha will be a square times derivative of sine alpha is cos alpha. We can apply the product rule here. So derivative of sine is cos. So we get cos times cos as cos square alpha plus sine times derivative of cos which is minus sin alpha, right? So 
So that is minus sine square alpha. So we get here alpha a square. So we have cos alpha plus cos square alpha minus sine square alpha. That is the derivative. Now to maximize the area, we need to find critical number. So at that number, that area should be equal to 0. So we have this equation to solve. The angle alpha which makes this 0. If I write sine square alpha as 1 minus cos square alpha, then I'll get quadratic equation in cos, which we can factor, find the solution. So let's do it. So we have a square times cos alpha plus cos square alpha minus. For sine square alpha, I'm writing as 1 minus cos square alpha. Right. Equals to 0. So we can open the bracket and then factor. So we have a square cos alpha plus cos square alpha minus 1 plus cos square alpha equals to 0. So which is a square 2 cos square alpha. Then we have plus cos alpha minus 1 equals to 0. Now, 2 cos square alpha plus cos alpha minus 1 can be factored and we have a square times 2 cos alpha minus 1 times cos alpha plus 1 equals to 0. Right? So you can factor this and that is the result which you get. Now, this expression is going to be 0 only if cos alpha is negative 1 or cos alpha is half. Right? So we have two solutions from here. One we can get from this factor, the other one from here. Right? So the possible solutions for us are cos alpha equals to half or cos alpha equals to minus 1. Now when is cos half? Cos of alpha will be half for alpha equals to 60 degrees, right? So that gives us one solution that alpha equals to 60 degrees. Cos of alpha is minus 1 when alpha is equal to 180 degrees. Well, 180 degrees is not possible, but this is fine, correct? So we get our critical number and that is alpha equals to 60 degrees. I hope till now things are absolutely clear, right? So let's analyze the angle itself at point which is 60 degrees. So, so what we analyze the derivative near 60 degrees. So we'll take a value which is more than 60 degrees. Let us say we take a test point here as 70 degrees and here as 50 degrees. Okay. So let me convert my calculator to degrees since I found angle in degrees. Anyway, uh, so it is 2 times cos of, so 2 times cos of 50 on the left side of 60 minus 1 times within bracket cos of 50 plus 1 within bracket equals 2. So we get a positive answer, right? So positive means the graph will be increasing on this side. Well, you should appreciate that for an angle, this part will always be positive, right? Now, let's do for 70 degrees. So we have uh, within brackets, let's say 2 cos 70 minus 1, bracket close, times cos of 70 plus I mean, plus 1 bracket close equals 2. So that gives you negative 0 0.42. So that's a negative value. Negative means the rate of change will be decreasing, right? So that clearly indicates that we do have a maximum at angle of 60 degrees. So therefore, the given trapezoid will have maximum area for angle of 60 degrees.
this right or pi by 3 so that is how we could solve this question so so what we conclude from here that maximum area of an isosceles trapezoid is when angle alpha equals to 60 degrees right hope the steps here are absolutely clear and you understand and appreciate how we can maximize the area of a trapezoid for changing angle so for an angle of 60 degrees an isosceles trapezoid will always have maximum area that is important to note this knowledge is going to help you in many similar questions thank you and all the best